Last week of class, last few videos. Let's get into it. If you hear anything in the background, that's the washing machine. Ignore it. So, at Oakmont, in the shop, we don't buy engines. The teachers don't go out and buy engines for you. The school budget doesn't include old, oily, rusty engines to put in there. No. All of these engines get donated by people in the town. Why? Well, someone's been using their lawnmower for five, six, seven, eight years, go to start at the beginning of the season, and it doesn't run. They're not too mechanically inclined, so they go out and buy a new one. What are they going to do with the old one? They've heard about us at Oakmont Tech Ed, and they bring it in, bring it in and drop it off. Usually to get that lawnmower that doesn't run going, is a spark plug. That's all it is. Those people may have gone out and spent three, four hundred dollars on a new lawnmower, and all it really needs is a five, ten dollar spark plug. Even that, we might just be able to clean the spark plug and put it right back in and get it running. This week we're going to talk about preventive care and maintenance. This week is really important because it can save you money. Now we're just going to talk about how to clean the engine, how to replace the oil, how to make sure that the air filter is clean. How to store an engine for the summer or for the winter, depending on which engine we're talking about, snowblower or lawnmower. You want to make sure that your engine is clean, it's running smoothly, it's running efficiently, and it will actually last. All right? These engines will last forever if you take care of them. So this week we're going to make sure that you know how to take care of an engine like this. All right, we're going to start with this engine up here on the bench. And then we're going to go outside to Mr. Jones's lawnmower and clean that up as well. So the first thing that we're talking about today is cleaning. Whoa! These are <clears throat> air-cooled engines, right? And the cooling comes from these fins. This is a lawnmower. These get dusty. These get dirty. You're cutting up grass, right? If air doesn't flow over these fins, then it creates hot spots. And those hot spots can create problems. So all you really need to, need to clean an engine like this is an old toothbrush. Just go in here, make sure that's all clean. Use the back side if it's thin enough to get back there. If it's not, flathead screwdriver. Make sure there's no dust and dirt stuck in there. This one's already clean. I'm just showing you the procedure. You make sure that all of these fins are clear of any debris and dust. That way they won't overheat. On the blower shroud, there should be a couple of screws that attach it. I already took them off. The newer ones are even more simple to take off. They're usually just a couple of flatheads. If this comes off, you can see the flywheel. You don't want any dust inside here. You just go in and clean it all out. Obviously doing a pretty quick job at it. Things like dust and dirt, a simple brush, a screwdriver, a little thin piece of wood to reach into those fins, they're going to be your best tools. Don't do this unless your parents know what you're doing. You don't want them to come out to the garage and see that you've just ruined their lawnmower with no warning. Just be careful of that. Okay, so this is uh, our lawnmower. It's a seven and a quarter horse Briggs and Stratton. It's a great one, no complaints. To clean this, you'll notice that I'm up on, I have car jacks, right? It's up off of the ground. This is for a couple of reasons. One, it's a nice working height. I got my bucket that I'm sitting on and it's very comfortable. Also, you don't want to tip your engine left to right. All right, this one has a sticker indicating how you should do it. If you're going to, if you can't jack it up, but it's best to raise it up off the ground. You've got saw horses, a couple of cinder blocks, <clears throat> excuse me, even a couple of pieces of wood, one under each corner, will get it up off the ground 
four or five inches so you can actually work on it. All right, so that's what I would do first. I had a, my dad help me put this up. Make sure you don't drop it. Just be careful with it. So first, get it off the ground. Second, what I'm going to do is just clean the exterior of it. We've got tons of dried grass clippings everywhere, dirt everywhere. I'm going to start by cleaning around before I clean the engine. So let's start with that. It's not spotless, but it doesn't need to be. It's a piece of yard equipment. Um, and everything's loose, at least now, so when it rains or if I'm driving it around, it'll come off. I just used a paint stirrer, so this is a great little scraper because since it's wood, it's not going to scratch that metal. All right, next, I'm going to take this off. This one has a couple of Torx head screws on the top. It depends on your mower. Alright, so I've got this open. A couple of linkages fell out, so I'll show that in a minute. But the tube from the air filter came out, so I'm just going to pop that back in. And then go around with the toothbrush, make sure there's no dirt and dust in here. This one's pretty clean already. But then we'll be good to go. This was disconnected. Probably came off as I pulled it out. Let's see, just want to make sure that that goes back on firmly. From here I can see the cooling fins on the front and over on here on the side from the head. So I'm just getting in there with the toothbrush, making sure that's clean. The bottom of the crankcase is pretty dusty and grimy. That's getting scrubbed. Everything's getting, getting a quick once over. And that should be good. I have cleared most of the dirt and debris off the top of the deck and in the engine. So all the cooling fins are now clear so there's no hot spots so the engine can run smoothly. The underside of the deck is a different story. As you're mowing, Things get kicked up on the underside, right? Not everything goes out into the bag or in the mulching off the side. So underneath can be quite filthy, depending on when the last time you cleaned it was. This one has a little hose end. So what I can do is take the male end of a hose, screw that into here, turn on the water, run the mower and then the water gets splashed everywhere and keeps things clean. It works pretty well but if you don't have that that's not an option which means that you definitely have to jack it up and get underneath and start scraping. Now before you do that what's underneath there? A blade right? That blade chops through grass no problem it'll chop through your fingers just as easily. So before I go underneath this deck, I want to make sure that I'm not going to lose a finger. The quickest and easiest way to do this is to pull the boot off the spark plug. Alright, now there's no spark, there's no combustion. No combustion, that engine's not going to run. So I'm safe to get underneath and scrape away. So that generally is how to keep a lawnmower engine like this clean. If you keep this engine clean, it's going to run a lot longer and a lot stronger for you. Alright, you want to make sure you take care of your engines.
Preventative care and maintenance. It's very, very important. It'll save you money in the long run. This took me 10 minutes, maybe. 15, because I had to get all everything together. If you take the time it takes, it doesn't take much time at all. Just get it done quickly, and you'll be able to run this thing all summer.